Welcome to the Mould Testing Technician course. My name is Nicole Bausma. I am the CEO and founder of the Australian College of Environmental Studies, which was established in 1999 to educate people about the health hazards in the built environment. Now, mould testing is one of the most important things we do as building biologists because it accounts for most of the work that we actually do. But conducting an assessment of a water damaged building is not an exact science and there's no single instrument or method you can employ that will adequately assess a water damaged buildings. So that's why you need knowledge, you need to understand the, the, what causes water damage and mould, you need to understand the health effects of the impact of mould on human health in, from asthma, allergies and of course chronic fatiguing syndrome. And more importantly, you need to know how to assess a water damaged building. So the primary aim of this course is firstly to identify the source of moisture unique to the site and the extent of moisture damage that supports microbial growth. That is the first and most important thing you're going to do as mould testing technicians. Because if you don't get to the source of the moisture, you will not be able to help patients who are exposed to these biotoxins because moisture causes mould, which in turn exposes people to biotoxins. The second thing that you need to focus on is to determine fungal particulate spread from the original source of growth. So through sampling and moisture mapping, you're going to determine how far that active growth and this fungal particulate like spores and fragments and hyphae has moved from the active source of growth to the rest of the building. And we do this using the latest bio pumps, swabs, bio tapes, air samples, etc. The third thing that you need to do is to identify potential pathways by which the fungal particulate has spread throughout the built environment. Looking at the heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems, their exhaust fans, wall cavities, staircases that can act as stack effects. These things are important to establish how far that fungal particulate has spread from the original source of moisture. And of course, most importantly, provide recommendations to the client in order to address the source of the moisture and to um, clean up any fungal particulate if it justifies a double ICIC mould remediator. This will involve network, networking with a large variety of professionals from hydrologists and drainage experts to roof, licensed roof plumbers, double ICIC mould remediators, um, people who specialise in laundering, water damaged goods, etc. So part of your work needs to liaise with top waterproof membrane consultants and other specialists in order to help clients who are badly affected from water damaged buildings. In order to get the most out of the course, please read your manual at least two or three times. We will cover it during the four days on campus training. We'll also include a field trip, which you will write about as part of your report for the assessment and will provide all the equipment for you to be able to conduct an assessment of a water damaged building. Sit back, relax, maybe don't relax too much and read all the course materials. This is, once you know this information, you can't unknow. So I'm warning you, this is awesome knowledge, but it makes it difficult to ever walk into another environment without noticing the damp odours and the smells that happen from being in a water damaged home.